Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Jeremy AK Zarujarambe back again with another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. The JP 7th anniversary will be drawing to a close here within the next couple of days, so I wanted to make sure to put out a final checklist so you get in and do all of these important things before they're gone for good, because some of these things will not be back again, and other things will be back, but it will be a while until we see it again, so make sure you get in here and do these things. We'll get into all that information here in a minute, but first, Make sure you check out that link in the description below to join the awesome Discord community where we have tons of people playing Dokkan Battle and Dragon Ball Legends. Always a fun place to hang out and chat and get any in-game help you may need, so I look forward to seeing you over there. If you're new to the channel or you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can stay up to date on future content like this. Make sure to drop a like on the video today if you found any useful information and comment down below with any additional questions or comments. Let's go ahead and hop over to the Dokkan wiki real quick. So first thing, you'll have to ignore the 3 March end date here because they did put out the little extra part here for the 7th anniversary, so a lot of it has been extended until the 8th of March, which as of the recording of this video is a couple of days. So make sure you get in and do all these things before the 8th of March. We're going to start out first with our consumable items, uh, first being the tickets. So we have three kinds of tickets. We've got the 77 unit multi-summon tickets, the thank you tickets, and the regular 7th anniversary tickets. Most important one I'd say is the 77 unit multi-summon tickets because you get three guaranteed LRs. If you haven't gotten all of these tickets yet, I'll actually put a link in the top right of this video right now and a link in the description below so you can click on that and go see just how to get all of these tickets because you do not want to miss this summon. Completely free to play summon with three guaranteed LRs is definitely worth doing. So once that is gone on the 8th of March, it will not be back and that will go to waste for any of those tickets you didn't use. So definitely go in there and do that. And then you also have the 7th anniversary tickets, the normal tickets. Uh, they're not too crazy. They have a decent chunk of support units and stuff on that banner. Uh, make sure you use those. But also you have your thank you tickets for the actual Dokkan Festival banners, being the uh, the dual Dokkan Festival, Goku and Vegeta, the Super Saiyan 4s, and the God Boys. And then also you can use them on the Part 2 Legendary banners for the Giant Ape Vegeta and the uh, Goku here. You can use it on that, so make sure you go in and use those, even if it is a single summon, because actually I did a single summon with those rainbow tickets, and I got uh, an LR, uh, Master Ultra Instinct Goku, from last anniversary, so really good stuff, really good uh, rates for some people on those, so definitely get, get in there, and even if it's single summons, get them done, because they could get you some good units. But uh, the other consumable items we're going to be talking about are the coins and the red god dragonstone. So first of all, those coins... In the Baba Shop, if you don't use them, you won't be able to use them again after this anniversary is over. So there's some pretty good items in here. This is actually from the 6th anniversary, unfortunately, but a lot of the items are the same. Um, they don't have it updated for the 7th anniversary on the Dokkan Wiki, but you can see they've got a lot of the limited units that came out for some of the Global versus uh, JP campaigns and things like that, and then also some other limited time units. We've got some training items, some Hercule statues, good support items, hidden potential orbs, I mean, you name it. And then, of course, we've got the Grand Kai's. There's good stuff in there, so definitely just make sure anything you need, go in there, grab it, spend all of those coins, because, again, they're just going to be collecting dust in your box otherwise. And then another consumable item being the Red God Dragonstone. I know a lot of people have these units already, but um, it is a free unit, and if nothing else... If you don't want to go in and grab one of these units, if you have them all, it's a free Elder Kai, if nothing else. So don't let that God Dragonstone go to waste either, because again, another item that will just be collecting dust if you just let it uh, go by. So, uh, the next thing we're going to be talking about are the free-to-play units, because there are four completely free-to-play farmable units you can go in and, and get, two of them being LRs, and uh, three of them you can actually extreme the Awaken. The first one being the Gohan, Goten, and Trunks. So you go ahead and you can go to their event and you can farm them out. You can farm out the free-to-play Goku and Chi-Chi and that free-to-play Vegeta and Bulma. And those units will, again, be from their respective events. And actually, if you're trying to get that 77-unit multi-summon done, you actually need to go in and farm them out anyway. But the units are not bad themselves. And here you can see the events there for them. Each of these are the events that you go in, get these guys farmed out, and then you can take on their Extreme Z area with the units and get um, them Extreme Z awakened. And again, 
once you get them extremely awakened you get those tickets for the 77 unit multi summon some of them will come from this event so uh really good stuff the event is really not all too hard as long as you have a good chunk of units here a lot of these guys have been out for a while so if you've been playing dokkan battle for a little bit you should be able to make a decent team and go in there and beat the event get the uh units extremely awakened and then also get yourself the 77 unit multi summon so definitely worth the while there some pretty good units and if you are a free-to-play player like me on the jp side some extra units to bring in for things like virtual doken clash and some of the other events definitely worth bringing these guys in so get them farmed out get them extremes awakened if you can and another one that we have are we have the uh, the free-to-play lr goku and uh, vegeta jr that came out with the extra portion of the 7th anniversary. They cannot be extremely awakened and actually they'll be around for a little bit longer than the 8th. You can see their story event here will go to the 2nd of April. So you have a little bit more time to go and get them farmed out but it again is a free to play LR so definitely worth the time and uh, you know maybe not focus that one super uh, important right now but you can get to that one after everything else ends. And the final thing and one of the most important things I think are the Extreme Z battles because these Extreme Z awakenings that we've got for the units on the 7th anniversary were absolutely amazing Extreme Z awakenings. We had the Strength Super Saiyan God uh, Vegeta and the Tech Super Saiyan God Goku, the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, the uh, Omega Shenron, and then we also had the Int Vegito, or the, uh, I should say, the Patora Fusion uh, Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta, and then you had the Fizz Angel Goku and Vegeta for the uh, LR Gogeta, and then also we have the Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta from a few uh, anniversaries ago as well. Really good, really, really good Extreme Z Awakenings, and if nothing else, even if you don't have the units, and you or you don't care about Extreme Z Awakening them, it's a lot of Dragon Stones that you can go in and get for future banners, or if you're still trying to go in and get some of these 7th uh, anniversary units, which I've still been kind of grinding out a few of these stones. If you didn't see my video the other day, I did a summon and finally got the LR God Boys, the Tech God Boys here. So I was able to get both of these Dual Dokkan Festival units, but the Extreme Z battles were where I, mo uh, where I farmed most of my Dragon Stones for the summons. So get in there, get these Extreme Z Awakenings done because uh, they are really good Extreme Z Awakenings. I'm telling you, they're really great. And then also, uh, like I said, lots of dragon stones to be had there. And I also have videos on my channel for all those things. If you want to go look on my channel, there's plenty of team builds, tactics, and things like that for taking on these Extreme Z battles if you're having troubles with that. But uh, that's pretty much everything I've got. So the 7th anniversary, like I said, it will be done on the 8th of March. So you have a couple more days. Get in there, spend your consumable items, get these Extreme Z battle done, uh, battles done, and then farm out as many dragon stones as you can. Do the last summons because when the 7th anniversary is gone, a lot of this stuff won't be coming back. And if we do see it, it will be probably months down the road. So make sure you get in there, get them done, and uh, hopefully you guys are having fun with the 7th anniversary. Uh, it will be here soon on the global side here this summer, so if you're a global player, some awesome stuff incoming for us. So start saving up your Dragon Stones now, because there will be some great units for the global side too. But that's everything I've got for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, again, drop a like on the video. Comment down below if you think I've missed anything that is important to do with the 7th anniversary that you can pass on to everybody else. And again, make sure you check out that link in the description below to join the awesome Discord community. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can stay up to date on future content like this. And as always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys coming by and checking out the video today. Best of luck and have fun. We'll catch you on the next video. Signing out.